All right, we are ready for the next match of winners quarters. We got K-Man versus Magachi Keshin. We got Greninja versus Wii Fit Trainer. You guys are ready? Let's do it. Go for it. Also, I'm here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello friends. <laughs> Dang, Hype Tyson throwing shade on his buddy. <laughs> so we got the final destination here. Yeah. I believe this was uh, Magatsu Keshin's pick, yes. I believe. Yes. So he's looking for the um, no platforms. Nah. He, he likes no platforms with uh, Weaver Trainer, which nope. I can understand. Platforms are definitely one of Weaver Trainer's weaknesses, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, you can, I mean, Weaver Trainer's up air is not horrible on platforms, mm. but like, definitely not the best on platforms. No, and no, no. I think that um, she prefers not having the platforms mess up her soccer ball. Right. That makes uh, sense. So. Yeah, if you yeah, do soccer, soccer ball setups, the platforms oftentimes will just act as a ceiling to prevent it hitting. Yeah. So, yeah. But, uh, it, it, it's a really weird thing. I don't understand it. Yeah, there's just some projectile characters don't necessarily like. Like I know with me Gunner, I hate going on battle with me Gunner. Mm. I hate that because I can't do any of my projectile setups. Oh, so that's fair actually. Yeah. With uh, actually, Dark Samus does pretty good on uh, platform stages though. I think. Yeah, Dark Samus isn't quite the issue. Yeah, no, that's why. Uh, that's why I was practicing on battlefield most mm. of the time. Because yeah. I, had, I had a feeling that would help. That's Ooh, why I, I think he was looking for maybe a, a, a quick reverse uh, back here there, but he actually had the forward back here. Yeah. Ooh, and punishing the forwards or the uh, the shadow sleep with his forward smash. Yeah. So that forward um, smash is hard. It does. It's terrifying. Especially because I think he had um, deep breathing at the time. Like deep breathing. Yeah. Deep breathing with Weaver Trainer is no joke. Not at all. Like I think Weaver Trainer was a perfectly legitimate character oh, in um, Smash Four. Oh sure. But my goodness, is Weaver Trainer a legitimate character in this game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we terrifying. Yeah, we have a trainer is strong. It's thing Especially is, with how Megatsu plays him. Yeah. Her, her yeah, them, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Weaver Trainer is one of those characters that you don't see very often because mm -hmm. it's just kind of a forgettable character because it's sort of random. True. But then the players who play Weaver Trainer, it's freaking scary. It is. Like I've seen Because you underestimate you underestimate. Like I've but seen But you do not underestimate that forward smash from Greninja either. No, you don't. Greninja's actually really strong in this game. I know in mm -hmm. Smash 4 this is the case, and I think Smash Ultimate is the case as well, where yeah. a lot of players in the Japanese setup, like in the Japanese scene, mm -hmm. we're under the impression that Ooh. that was a good setup. That was really, really good snipe. Oh, I love it. They were under the impression that uh, Greninja is actually one of the best characters in the game. Really? Because they, they love their combos with Greninja. That's fair. Greninja combos are crazy. And Keenan has been, uh, Kamen, has been working on his Greninja combos. So we're going to see right. if he's able to get some of those setups. He's been, I imagine he He's been looking for some setups, but he's been trust me, he's been, he's been working on it. He's, he's been working. He's been in the lab a lot. Like whenever we're doing practices, mm -hmm. the rest of us are playing matches and um, matchup setups. Yep. He's just in the lab just working on his combos. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's, he's been working hard. So. Oh, yeah, no. He's definitely done some more work with this. Oh, yeah. For sure. Wish I could say the same. Yeah, that's okay. Combos with Dark Samus aren't exactly the easiest to come by. Yeah, I think Dark Samus does pretty good with um kind of individual hits and kind of two two hit combos. True. Like True. down throw to forward air is really good. Mm -hmm. And if you're able to get an up tilt spike, then you can follow up with up air and then sometimes up air up e if depending on the percent. Mm -hmm. But like well, for the most part, you're looking for charge rod setups and throwing them on the stage. So oh, true. Oh, true. Yeah, especially with characters that have a terrible vertical recovery. Yeah, that, that's al that's always fun to. Ooh, Ooh I like that. I yeah. like that shadow sneak attack. Yeah, I think the... uh, Magatsu was definitely looking for that uh, edge guard, but yeah. shadow sneak. Shadow sneak. That's was... one of the good things actually for this stage uh, with Greninja is that it's a really dark stage, so mm -hmm. the shadow sneak's a little bit harder to see. That um... well, I mean that, and you can't really see shadow sneak when you're in mid when you're in mid air. That's no true. Yeah, yeah, he, he was using in mid air, so you kind of just have to look for the signs of like if the player's doing it often or if they're. Mm -hmm. How fast they're drifting towards the stage kind of gives an idea, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's tricky. You gotta have experience kind of looking for it. So, mm -hmm. dude, that, see that? Check that out. That down tilt to quick reverse back air. Yeah, Keenan's, I saw that. Dude, K Man's been working on those combos. Yeah. And uh, he's got he got to off stage, but honestly, yeah, this would go either way. Leaf Trader likes being off stage. This is very. Oh, okay. He almost had that wow. di. He almost had that di. That was real close. That was a really really close match because. Um, yeah, that if mutual B is strong. If Greninja was at like twenty more percent, I think both of them could have possibly died at the same time. Yeah, no, that was really close. That so, was real uh, close. Yeah, we're gonna get the next match set up. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Keenan, K Man, actually switching to the Zelda, we're thinking, thinking, two thinking that he's wanting to uh, mix up a little bit. Um, and because it was a really close match, I understand. Yeah. yeah and Magatsu Keshin switching to the tried and true Joker. Yeah. His secondary, yeah. I would say, probably, because I think Weaver Trainer's pretty easy main. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's kind of got two secondaries, though. Uh, 
He's got this one. He's got Fox. Yeah. So, but he's looking for the Joker right now. So mm -hmm. I think they're gonna get. Go ahead and get in. I, I wasn't paying attention to which stage you were playing. So, uh, but that's uh, fine. Go, was, for uh, go for it. Smash. Uh, Smashville. Smashville. All right. Yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah, I think. I'm trying to think, who do you think the stage uh, benefits? Uh, ooh, that's actually a, that's actually a tough call. Yeah, because I know I think that uh, the Phantom uh, Sword Swing can um, can hit the ledge. Yeah. But you have to space it really well yeah. because the platform is such an awkward position. I so like, I don't know if it necessarily is the best, I won't most lie. amazing thing for Zelda. I won't lie. I feel it's not like, bad, but it's a thing you can do, but it's right. really situational. Right. I won't lie. I feel like with this uh, center platform that's going on, I feel like this actually mildly benefits Joker because Zink? yeah, because uh, with uh, with well, I mean, without Arsene, of course. Yeah. Because because uh, with Up B, he can he can grab the opponents from from there and he can, he can bring that's him down true. That's and, true. And, he can come, and he can come up land on the platform after doing like an aerial and then do another two more aerials if that's really true to. i was thinking because i really do not like the stage with she because oh, her, yeah, no. her up tilt drag down combos are really difficult to do on the yeah. stage because the platform just kind of screws it up because they can land on the platform and tech it and violet would easily but uh, i actually think stage. jokers jokers up uh, up their drag downs are a little easier mm -hmm. and they can reach from a little bit higher up so i think yeah you're probably right you having the extra platform to extend the combo is probably good oh yeah no um i don't Ooh, that man, was a that reach. setup. That, that was setup. a reach, too. I, don't think, I think he wanted to grab the ledge. I don't think he wanted to go hide. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he wanted to get hit by that. No. But uh, it was a good setup for Keenan, setting up that... Uh, Zelda can ledge trap from, like, the other side of the stage. Oh, yeah, with that no. phantom and that side dude. I mean, we so, witnessed that with my match against uh, Champion and Bloom. True. Which, goodness gracious, Zelda is terrifying. Yeah, I know. He's, he's been working... Oh, oh no! Uh, I, that yeah, that's I, something that I always fear whenever I play teleportation, teleport FB characters. Yeah, because whenever I would play Mewtwo, I, I would always, I would always get that angle wrong. Every, yeah, every I think time. what I think probably what happened was he was trying to drift away from the forward air, possibly, uh, but Ooh. accidentally he drifted forward. After inputting the up B, and so I put it off the stage. I, oh. It's my guess as to what happened. So. That was really smart. That was really smart on Magatsu for letting Arsene drain before he uh, up beats, so he could use the um, uh, grapple instead of fly and be and be able to grab the ledge instead of being yeah uh, being uh, yeah. subdued to. I don't know if that's what he was. Fast. I don't know if that's what he's thinking of, but it definitely but, worked but out. But it, that. it definitely worked out that way. I, I mean, either way, he's up airs on the platform. Uh, and, uh, uh, him is just trying to figure out how to get off. My point exactly. But that dash attack is strong. Dash so. attack. Dash attack with Zelda and Dark Samus, admittedly, are just both terrifying. Yeah, Dark, like Samus, they, yeah, Dark Samus is in normal Samus as yeah. well. Their dash attack's actually pretty good. Same oh, yeah. Pikachu's. Oh, peak, oh. High enough percent Pikachu's dash attack becomes a reliable kill -off. I went up against <laughs> the Pikachu a couple days ago, and oh my god. God. Oh, I, he he wasn't quite sure. The um, I think he was already looking for the defensive shield. Mm -hmm. Uh, so by the time he realized, oh, I can punish this down B, yeah. it was already too late. And Mikasa was able to jump out of it. Ooh, looking for that uh, at... Tetracarn. Yeah. Searching, searching. That Ooh. side B is just so point like Aegon. Nice. Oh man, he's doing a good job oh. of uh, not Ooh, getting not hit quite, by the teleport. Not quite there yet. Because yeah, uh, uh, I know Zelda's like to mix up whether or not they teleport to the ledge or teleport onto the stage, trying to hit on top of. And I can never figure that out. Yeah, that gonna... dash attack is going to kill. Yeah. Uh, Magatsu actually doing pretty decent of uh, trying to avoid getting caught by that teleport, because mm. that is a really, really good option from Zelda. Yeah. So, um, Joker's going to win that match. Arsene definitely doing some work definitely with that dash look, attack. Definitely looking cool. So, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, we're going to set up the next match. We're going to see if they want to uh, switch up their characters or keep going, see what stage they're going to pick. So, we're going to set that up. All right, so we're going to switch back to the Greninja. And to the fox this time. So we're actually trying out all three of his characters. Yep. Um, so yeah, I think he was thinking maybe trying to keep up a uh, faster pace in the match, and Greninja's like, all right, we'll see if we can uh, hold up with that. So yeah, also, you guys are free to go. Also, it feels bad that none of the none of you these characters... You guys don't necessarily have to wait for us to see. You guys yeah. can just press start. Also, also feels bad that none of the characters that Magatsu mains has a purple variant, because because there's this, there's this long-running joke that, well, that goes on with... The, with all of us, that, kind of I mean, yeah, but he still goes, with, but Mikasa still goes with the yellow, anyways. So, so there's this joke where, uh, where, where we keep saying that his favorite color is yellow. He's like, no, it's purple. And he's like, yeah, and he insists and, that his favorite color is purple. Yeah, he and insists. we insist that he's lying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we, we, I, we, I think what it actually is is probably that like there's a difference between your favorite color and your favorite color for clothing. I guess. Um, I guess. And it's probably like yellow. I probably likes for the clothing. 
Uh, oh, like, but purple otherwise. So. I suppose. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Blue can blue for me is kind of nice, but blue is my favorite color. Yeah, but I mean both for clothing and for um normally. I mean, same for me with green and gray and black and all that. Mm. One thing I'm noticing that I think that uh, Magatsu was thinking about, mm. not necessarily against the Greninja, I think he was looking at this against the Zelda, mm. was the reflective. Oh, true. I think he was looking for the the, the reflector against the uh, Zelda. Yeah. But it's actually sort of maybe working out against Greninja, sort of. Okay. Not as good against Zelda, because uh, you can't reflect the phantom. That's all. That's side B. Yeah, Fox is light. <laughs> really? Yo, yeah, Fox is like the third lightest character in the game. Third? Something like that, yeah. Oh, it uh, I think he'd be tied with me too. I think. I think he might be tied with me too. He might be a little heavier though. I'm not 100 percent sure, but he's really light. He's one of the lightest. Weird. Oh, oh I, I recognize that. Yeah. I hate the that classic up smash Fox so up smash. That is the classic. I've run into that up smash but, uh, so yeah. many times. I've lost count. Oh, it's I, tricky, I, I, I like it's that tricky. up air. I like I like Greninja's up air. Yeah, Greninja's up air is really good. Fox's up air actually is also really good. It reminds. It rem Greninja's up air reminds me of Dark Sims' up air, and it's so fun. Yeah, yeah. It's so fun to use, like, multiple times in a row, if you can. It is, it is, yeah. Especially if you can connect it with, with uh, forward air. That's yeah. A, that's always... That's, that's Dude, that, always that grab range, though. That, that's a, that's that, was a, that was a grab range. That was a reach. Jeez. Goodness gracious. Dude, he's like, dude, you got that melee Marf grab range? <laughs> you got melee Fox grab range right now. <laughs> Just the first I remember hit of seeing order. a Valentine's. I remember seeing a Valentine's card where, where, where it was it was photoshopped, yeah. where it was a it was a image of melee Marth, and it was like it was like the distance doesn't matter between us or something like that. <laughs> That's awesome. I was like That's genius. I, love I was it. like I was like distance means Ooh. nothing between you and I. That's awesome. I was like that. I could send that to my girlfriend, right. but I don't know if she'll get it because she doesn't know like competitive <laughs> smash as much. So. But, uh, yeah. The, no, uh... It, it was literally Manly Marth just, like, doing his grab. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, oh, I don't know if that shield poke or if he was trying to parry it and let go a little too early. I have no idea. But, uh, that's, that Shadow Sneak getting a good kill. Shadow Sneak is just, all around, a really nice move. Yeah, it, it, it can be unsafe if you, uh, use it too, too often. True. Uh, and if it gets blocked, it's really unsafe. But oh, it's yeah, true. strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he's Fox. He can make it back. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> Fox makes it back easily. He's Fox. If it was Falco, I don't think he would have made it back, but it's Fox easily. Every combo starts with Firefox. Every time. Every combo? I mean... <laughs> Uh, another. Oh yeah. Oh, he was looking for a roll. Time. He was looking for a roll, and uh, Magatsu did not give it to him and punish it with an up smash. Uh, every time I see that up smash, I die a little on the inside because <laughs> I've run into it countless times. I know it's crazy. It's. He's also looking for the neutral air because Fox's neutral air is super good. Fox's neutral air is really nice. Is it? Doesn't it work the same way as Link's? Yes. That's what I thought. Uh, it's. I think. A little bit better though, because Fox is faster, so we can combo off a bit. Oh, uh, true. We can combo off the late. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Lynx Link does last a bit longer. But Lynx is stronger oh. technically. It, like it does, it kills better. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a trade-off. Yeah, I suppose. Fox up air, man. Goodness. It's so good. Goodness gracious. Fox Shepard is so good, and it's pretty even right now, actually. Mm -hmm. Considering Fox is a lot lighter. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, that. If Greninja let that down smash rip a little earlier and he clipped his legs from the dash through the get up attack, it would have killed him. Oh, no, no he's, he's still good. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. He's living. Good DI. We're fine. We're fine. That clang. That was, that was very close. This is looking. Oh, that there. Was, there it is. Oh, man. There's the shadow. That was a close That, was, that was real close. I saw, I saw Magasta going for that up smash one final time. Yeah. I saw him go for it. Oh, man. So, anyway, we're going to get to the next match. Yep.